Guys, was that not a freaking awesome trailer? <laughs> so yeah, so if you guys haven't figured out, we're going to be playing some Identity 5 by uh, NetEase Game, and um, this is relatively new, man. Let me uh, see if I can get some more information about this. Alright, so I was looking at their Discord, and they had the beta in May, and it and the full release was just last month, man, so... You know what, man? We're going to be excited playing this uh, 1v4 asymmetrical mobile game. So, it's PvP, man. It looks pretty cool in the trailer. You can, uh, like, crack the codes and stuff and uh, fight people and be ghosting. Man, it's just... <laughs> looks pretty cool, man. So, yeah, let's hop into the game and we will be right back. Oh, he got that envelope. Oh, what's his name, bro? Go ahead and sign this. Play the game as shoot big bucks. Damn. Now we don't want to skip no tutorial. An alias that almost nobody knew but me. We got a spooky mansion. Of course, we've got to have that thunderstorm. Is that little rat? You see, I <laughs> see that little rat over there. Oh man. We got an infestation. Boom. Cue the scream. Scene one. New owner. After nearly half a day on the road, I finally arrived at the manor mentioned in the commission letter. Due to the unexpected storm, the dilapidated main house and the huge manor became my first destination. As I entered the main house, I found that most of the rooms inside were in disrepair due to years of neglect. The rain and the cold kept urging me to leave this place until I opened the door of the living room. You know, they could probably type that a little bit faster. Let's see, what is that, chapter 1-1? One, one, follow something? Somewhere that's been deserted for 10 years. This room's in remarkable condition. I think we'll stay here for the night. Uh, it's too dark in here. I need to find an alternative. Bro, you can burn that wood. So, was that chapter 1-1 one, one or quest 1-1? One, one, follow the footprints and look for a light source. Alright, bro. Go up here. Oh, I can't move my camera. That's cool. What do we got up here? Camera. Oh, here we go. Drag the button to adjust viewing angles without changing walking directions. Now, do we want to do that? I think we can do that. I'll swipe the wheel. Uh, hell yeah, got that high. Let's see, what can we do with this? Let's see, drag the button to adjust viewing angles. Alright, so where's the... Uh, whatever, man. We'll figure it out. Oh, light up these candles, bro. That's cool, we click on them. Alright. Bro, we about to burn the wall down. What's this? Spooky little thing, bro. You always use a telephone. You can't light that candle. Can't light them. Bro, look at this guy, man. <laughs> He's just so sad looking. He's like, dude, this house sucks. Alright, cool. So let's go to the next room. Go through the wall. What's going on here? Alright, let's light that up. So I guess this guy smokes. So 
But a strange commission letter didn't tell him anything. Oh, I gotta interact here. I know it's painting. All right. I know it's all psychological. These candles really calm the nerves. There's a strange squeak. It's like what? Flying airplane. Follow the footprints and investigate the paper airplane. All right, so they need to keep the uh, the text on the screen a little bit longer. With that record saves, collect the clues, tap the commission letter. Dear Mr. Shoot Big Bucks, please forgive my abruptness. I'm your most loyal reader, devouring all your works, every incredible stories. I feel sorry for the misfortunes you have suffered. As a private detective... You have got experiences beyond comparison in the field of crime deduction. Please forgive my pre presumptuous. Once again, generally commissions like this should be entrusted in person. But I could not leave my wife with her illness. Our daughter has disappeared three days ago. That torture us in these days. I would not trouble you if it had been just a normal kidnapping. Our missing was... Completely out of the ordinary, she was snatched right off her aunt's empty house in this countryside. And someone saw her miles away on the same day. At first, we thought the witness was just a fake one for ransom. Though it turned out that she was the only clue we have ever found. Sooner we realized this serious situation, the place she spotted was right near the infamous manor. It hurt us when we found her clothed in the bushes. Around the manor. So, this game is from a Chinese company. And they probably just Google translated it or something. Keep that in mind. I am not a superstitious person. But something did happen in the manor. And no one wants to mention. The response from local police was disturbing. I don't know whose approval they need before searching the manor. However, I do fear that... I do fear though their hesitation. Worse than I suffered, my wife ultimately surrendered to disease without our daughter. Man, that sucks. So, his wife just died. I was all alone. Endless as it seems, I can no longer trust anyone there either. So I ask for your help to investigate that manor for our lost angel. I am willing to give up my entire fortune for our daughter. Even if, my God, the worst has already happened, we still hope that we could find out who has done this evil. We will pay whatever the price for any clue. Do we about to get rich? I look forward to your response with mail or telegram as soon as possible. In addition to the portrait of our daughter and the clothing, let the enclosed check indicate my admiration for you. Please use it for your lodging and travel expenses. Your loyal reader, James Reichenbach. Oh. <laughs> That's like a ghost daughter, bro. That's a blank area to close. All right, so we got the commission letter. Painting, okay. We got some random paintings. A bunch of women staring into the pool. A photo of very few clues. All right, bro. That's cool. It's my little detective notebook. Alright, so we gotta go back to following the footprints. Where are these footprints at? Pick up this airplane. Someone was probably playing around and it got caught up there. Then rats scared by the light shook it from the lamp. Who made it though? It's all a lie. The cake is a lie. Can we like spread this open? Page looks no. Rudimentary folding technique. We're gonna tell me this is a ghost, bro. Oh, what is this? This is what I can deduce from my initial analysis. The paper used might actually contain some information from which I might find out the clues. He killed me. This looks like a page from a diary. 
Interesting. The date is from several days ago. The person who wrote this is most likely connected with our missing person. Although I can't write anymore, I still have an uncanny ability to sense the emotions of a text. This is an ability most people do not possess. What do you mean he can't write anymore? That's cool. What is this? Display text? Day six. Finally, it's about to begin. I hope it's worth it. Someone is out. So stupid, stupid. They don't even know how to spell rules. Rules! Thank God I wasn't the first one to try that. Madness! It's pure madness! What on earth is going on? Why did he attack me? I just wanted to go see the poor guy that was eliminated. There was no reason for him to chase me. I didn't do anything wrong. He spelled wrong wrong. <laughs> Wait a minute. There is something wrong here. He's attacking everyone, not only me. Lies! Lies! It's all a lie! I must find a way out. No one can. No one is safe. Password. What's the password? Can't be saved. Lies, madness, all of it. Start case restoration. All right. Whoa. Survivors can use windows to create distance between them and the hunter. So this game is multiplayer. You guys seen from the trailer. And I guess it's also like a story mode too. That's cool. Um. Whoa. Here we go, bro. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, there's a ghost. <laughs> oh, bro, what was that? Slide your finger to look around. Here we go, bro. Judging from the content, my guess would be that our author is male, right-handed, and of average education. Follow the figure to the basement. Oh, he's got that thinking. You thinking, bro? What the hell? You can see him? <laughs> oh, we got the clouds, bro! <laughs> Creepy clowns. You got this guy's freaky. Quick, run! I have to sprint out kind of escape from the basement. Oh, snap! He got us, bro! Run! Run, bro! Get that eyeball! Hunters need more time to vault the windows. Thank goodness. Caught up. Fortunately, there's only one paragraph to cipher left. Bro, we need more time. Oh, what in the world? Bro, you choking him out? <laughs> we need to hurry and find the last cipher machine. Survivor's objective is to decode a specific number of cipher machines. Drag the camera upwards to look for glowing antennas and locate cipher machines. Alright. So what is this guy like? His brother? Tap the action button to decode a cipher machine. Alright. I can look around. What's it smoking over there? I don't know, man. Come on, send that telegram. We gotta go. Oh, oh. 
They killed enough stuff for machines to activate the switch for the exit gates. Open the gate. Oh, bro, run! Run, bro, run! He's coming! Open the gate. Oh, he's coming! Bro, he's coming! Bro, he got like a freaking firework! Bro, run! Uh oh. Save your peg leg! See ya, noob! You can't leave the mansion. Bro, he pissed. <laughs> See ya. My survivor touches a cobweb. Their location revealed to the soul survivor. Got a new memory. What was that? Ten jigsaw pieces? So a clue. Specific description obtained via logic path and events. Can it be used to purchase... Characters, groceries, memory spheres, etc. All right, bro, I see you. Diary suddenly stops here. What on earth does that mean? Carnival. Carnival. Carnival clown, man. He got him. Like something that was written by a lunatic. I really hope that Mr. Reichenbach's daughter is not involved in this. What I really need to do now is find the rest of the diary. Find out what's happened here. There should be other clues among these sheets of paper. All right, so we got another uh, diary entrance. Neatly folded edges. We got some illeg illegible, vulgar language evidence of tampering. That's true, bro. Black powder seems to be charcoal. The answer is probably close by. There happens to be a fireplace here. We we'll try to burn it. Let's go ahead and. All right, so scattered diary pages. Was it this one? I guess. All right, so let's go ahead and display this. Day six. No, we read this one, bro. There we go. Oh. Yeah, this was the airplane. All right, that's fine, man. That is fine. All right, let's get out of here then. Yeah, because he was reading it. Major clue to the main story. There's charcoal in the fireplace. No diary. That's not surprising. But something else has attracted my attention. The unburned firewood. Okay. The chimney has been sealed off. It seems the owner didn't use the fireplace. And its true purpose remains unclear. So why is it so dirty? All right, so we got some more footprints. This candlestick is. I think I know there's an extra candle here. It's firmly attached to the fireplace. It seems to actually be a part of the fireplace. This is pretty important. That's a secret switch. Oh, I called it. Nailed it. Bro, don't go in there. Oh, we got the clown, bro. Rotate, I know I found. But as it stops, it's a slow manner. I ask myself, why is it fast? Scene two, the clue. When the wall stopped rotating, about a hundred books that looked almost exactly the same came into focus. Intuition told me that the page that I was holding in my hand came from one of these books. And it was the simple fact that astounded me. Hmm. I used to test bedtime reading when I was a child. Alright, so we got another clue up in here. Oh look at that shadow. That's pretty cool, man. Trying to find a diary with a missing page in here is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Huh. All right, so we get another one. All right, so let's go ahead and can we read this first? What's that? Seven sixteen, day three. I'm beginning to accept our fate. It was us who chose to come here after all. 
going to try and talk to the others. Only one person was willing to talk with me. The person who arrived here first. She knew something I didn't, but there was not a lot of useful information. In brief, I learned everyone is here for the treasure, but no one knows what it is or doesn't want to disclose that information. She was also unaware of the profound meaning of those baffling rules. She did mention that the couple didn't seem as though they came together. Maybe I should pay more attention to them. 717 The weather this morning was so stuffy I almost suffocated. A heavy rain came after lunch as I expected with no sign of stopping. Bro, the storm and then the clowns are coming. The plan to explore the manor has been ruined. At first, my movement was restricted to just the estate. Now I can't leave the house. Oh, he's trapped. But I saw someone leave the house through a window on the second floor this afternoon. I just could not figure out who it was in the cloak. That, however, is not my concern. There are three days remaining. I can only hope that I make it to the end and get what I want. 718. It rained all night and ended with a rare rainbow at sunrise. This good feeling didn't last for long. A short note instructed us to gather in the dining room before breakfast and notified us that the tragedy had struck that young couple. The boyfriend had died. RIP! The reason that was given for elimination was infraction of the rules. Bro, what is this, like some Hunger Games or something? <laughs> You mess up the rules, you just get slain. Maybe it has something to do with the man in the cloak? That poor girl was crushed and couldn't stop crying. Perhaps it is times like this that increases the sense of hopelessness. This sense of despair spread amongst us, snatching our voices from us. But in that silence, I sense that someone isn't all that distraught. 719, the last day, finally, no one spoke more than was necessary, and even eye contact at this stage was unbearable. The atmosphere was sickening. As difficult as it has become, it is still more relaxed than the last few days. The final notice appeared on my desk after supper. Midnight after bells. Meet at the ruins and don't forget the diary. Bro, about to be like a ritual. I don't know how crazy or paranoid this lunatic is or what the diary means to him, but I don't want to take any risks. I want to give up at this point. It's time to finish this. All right. Let's go ahead and read this diary. So 718, the rain fall through the whole night. All right, so same thing. Okay. Violate the rules, be knocked out. Diaries are significant. Uh, alright, so, follow the rules, man. Everything's listed in the diary. Why, well, everyone came here willingly. I was able to leave the manor. Never seen anything so odd. Bro, there's treasure. It is obvious that these entries were not written by the same person, which means that they were insane. Something else happened. Off with their heads. All right, so let's start the case restoration. Crows will appear above survivors who haven't decoded a cipher machine for an extended period of time. So why is that important? Arms factor. The arms factor is abandoned after a huge fire. Decode a specific number of cipher machines to open the gate and escape. The top of the screen displays the two remaining undeciphered machines. Good luck. So I'm a lucky guy. Okay. What the hell is this? So we can crouch. Looks like he dropping a deuce. We can stand. We can sprint. Alright, so that's like a sneak. This is like a crouch. Oh, he's like constipated. <laughs> we code this stuff from machines. Where's this clown at? Is he coming for us? Oh. Hope he didn't hear it. 
When your needle is in the target area, tap the action button before to continue decoding. Okay, bro. Bro, where's this action button? Oh, we lit up! The hunter will be alerted to your location once the cipher machine is decoded. Time to flee. It's the beating heart. The hunter is coming. Lose him. Bro, my heart. Oh, I'll just stop. Keep calm. Son the hunter with this pallet. Now tap the action button and knock over the pallet. See ya, noob! Oh, stun him for a few seconds when you hit him. Bruh. Bruh. Jump, noob! Alright, so we know it takes him, a, takes him a little bit to jump over it. Can he go around now? Oh, a chime. All cyber machines have been coded. The exit gate now be opened. Exit gate is accessible. The switch for the exit gates will glow for a short time. Oh, well, where can we go? Oh, these chairs, brother, creepy. So where the where'd that fool go? No, oh, he's near. Oh, there he is, bro! Run! Open up, fool! We gotta go! Bruh. Bruh. I escaped. It's getting a little intense. Survivors can use windows to create distance between them and the hunter. Got a new memory. Okay. Look at clues. Specific description. Obtainable via logic path and events. Okay, so we already know that. Okay. What's his memory, bro? Browse survival information. So lucky guy. So that's the little kid that we were playing. Character profiles will help with my analysis. It's not possible to recover any more details using analysis substitute. I need more specific characters to expand the profile. Okay, so you've unlocked all the other characters. So we can get some more information. Build that profile for him. See what happened. Alright, so survivor profile, tap the photo order to enter appearance, decoration, original detection, substitute. Okay, I guess we'll just click on this. Okay, so he's a little scrawny little kid. Got some creepy dolls, uh, costume. Okay. What is this? Season 1, Essence 2, I guess. Okay, so we'll get that after we complete the quest 1 to 15. I'm sure if we click get now, we can buy it. Oh, what the heck is this? Little voodoo dolls, man. We are. What was that, a spider? What is this? Or are we going to be male or female? Oh man, what is this? All these little dudes, man. Alright, so let's go back to the beginning. Alright, so graffiti. Bro. What is going on, man? Okay, so lucky guy. We got the doctor, the lawyer, the thief, a gardener, a magician, explorer, mercenary, a coordinator, a mechanic, a forward, the mind's eye, and the priestess. So are these like all the dudes that died? Okay, so these are all like the accessories. Okay, I feel you. Uh, behavior. No, bro. Go back to the dude. There we go. Standby motion. Okay, I feel you, bro. You can like... 
Oh, what the heck? Oh, bro! They have like little... They're accessories to them. That's a giant pistol. Bro. It's supposed to be like a flight attendant. She's got this big pistol. That's cool, man. Alright, so we're gonna go back to this guy. Exit out of that. That's cool, man. External trait. Lucky guy. So his external trait. A man who has absolutely nothing. Must rely on luck to survive. Veterans. Veterans are more vigilant than novices and gain an additional two second boost when hit. Oh, so can we... So can we... Oh, this is cool, man. Uh, syringes can heal herself and wounded due to her medical background. Syringes are not depleted when used. That's cool. Superb medical skills. The speed of healing others is increased by 60%. Self-healing. Well, that's cool. Oh, what is this? Get character unlocks. Man, come on. So can we only play as this dude? Gotta do some quests. What about this, this nerd? Ah, oh, we can't. Available. So, Alright, so we can only play as. Oh, yeah. There's no deduction system. No one knows how many people have taken part in this game. We know that he played the game. Alright, so it makes sense. Well, there's a rumor though. So he was talking about the chick. So sick and tired of being grounded and doing the same old thing day in and day out. Martha wants to pilot her own plane. Perhaps by winning this game she'll be able to fulfill her wish. So is that a girlfriend? Oh, we got another one. So, precise aim, the external trait. Carries around a flare gun and possesses advanced marksmanship. Duration that the hunter is stunned for one hit increased by 30. Oh, that's cool. Hardened by military training for... Assistance on rocket chairs is increased by 30%. Alright, so we've seen them rocket chairs when we're running from the clown. Uh, Army Bond appreciates camaraderie. The speed at which she decodes deciphers and opens exit gates is increased by 60%. And when, you rock, when a teammate is placed on a rocket chair. Alright, so that's good, man. So, use her to start unlocking things. A military train vaulting speed is increased by 10%. Nice. Alright, so, this so is this the pilot, no, this is the mechanic, I think. Although a handsome reward it was promised in the invitation letter, it was a secret gadgets in the manner that truly attracted Tracy. Mechanic needs inspiration more than money. Operator uh, carries around a life-size doll which can be destroyed with a single strike. Love for the doll reduces depletion when... Using doll by 50%. A mechanic controls a deployed doll when incapacitated or when placed on a rocket chair. But a higher cost control will be interrupted if the mechanic is rescued. Alright, so that's kind of like a, uh, a scapegoat. Alright, that's cool, man. Fragile. Physically weak. Obstacle vaulting speed is decreased by 30%. So same as the pneumatic. Uh, the mech master. Skilled at making machines and various mechanical traps. Her decoding speed is increased by 35%. So she'll be also good to... Um, open like doors and decode thanks to her teammates have also mastered some basic mechanical skills and their decoding speed is increased by eight percent all right so if she can't decode um her team buff so they will increase by eight percent that's cool man cowardly years of indoor work have exasperated the mechanics timidity the mechanic becomes scared when a teammate is wounded or placed on a rocket chair. Therefore, her decoding and gate opening speed is increased by 45%. This effect can multiply. Oh. Ah, that sucks. So, <laughs> injured teammates are on the rocket chair. Okay. Alright, so we got this forward. Our information limited. Alright, so. Is everybody like that? So I don't know why we're reading everybody. All right, we'll we'll read all them later, man. When we unlock them. So right now we're just gonna we'll be working on this lucky guy. Uh, Closet diary. We already read this. 
right? All right, that's cool, man. Look for other clues on the shelf. Major clue. How long have we been recording for? I know what, guys. We're going to stop off here. One eight. Uh, let me get know what you guys think of the game. And, yeah, we're definitely going to be playing this more in the future. See so, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'm out. Later.